the Sea Cats. Welcome back to the Blonde Avenue. I've got a cat's ass next to me. Hi, Pussy Cats. Welcome back to the Blonde Avenue. So, this video is called My Current Favorites because all these products I'm in love with at the moment. I use them daily, if not daily, weekly. So, I'll talk to you about them and hopefully you can tell me what you think as well and we'll uh, have a little combo. <laughs> one is a Garnier BB Skin Perfector in the color medium. It originated in Japan. It's a beauty balm. It's a little bit more covering than a tinted moisturizer and a little bit less than a foundation. I'll put this on my face under my foundation and it gives this amazing glow and the foundation glides on beautifully or I'll just wear it by itself if I'm just going to the beach or the pool or I'm feeling lazy. So this bad boy is my homeboy. I really like it. It's, it's really pretty and I like the color medium because it kind of gives you a tan as well. The next product I'm going to talk to you about is the Touche Eclat Blur Primer. Now, I got this from Yves Saint Laurent because when I saw the bottle, what's inside, it blew my mind. This bottle is my spirit animal. Why? It's got gold flecks inside. I'm not, like, I'm not playing with you. Look at this thing. It's so glamorous. It's so pretty. Just the packaging is so pretty. Yves Saint Laurent knows how to, how to get shit done that's all i'm gonna say about that but in reality this primer is beautiful texture it's so so good on your skin it blurs your imperfections it fills in the pores and the cracks so that your foundation can go on seamlessly and don't be scared of the gold flecks at first i thought oh my god am i gonna look like a christmas tree but you don't they distribute evenly under your foundation and make you look really really pretty not that you're not you're already pretty but even prettier the next thing i picked up at yves saint laurent as well when i was at the counter was the touche la foundation in b50 i was flipping between b50 and b60 because i like to pretend i'm a lot more tan than i am but i went for the b50 and it blends perfectly it's weightless seamless skin like finish i love this guy it's amazing and it's surpassed and outdone every single foundation i've ever 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 tried the fourth product was given to me by my husband because I've always coveted it and just wanted to try it. It's Creme de la Mer. I thought, what is the big deal? Um, how can this technology beat and surpass every other single one? I can be lazy with my creams sometimes and I know that's terrible, but this one, it, it truly is incredible. I don't know why. Maybe I'm tricked into thinking that because it's so desired by everyone and so loved, but I got the soft cream, not the heavier version or the gel. I find the consistency beautiful. My skin is spring and soft afterwards I just find it the bomb.com but if you cannot afford that because God knows I can't it was a present for me I really love the Nivea Q10 day cream and SPF 30 for people who live in Australia or people who live on um, the west coast of America or anywhere hot just anywhere hot SPF 30 is really important it's got a really soft almost like cushiony consistency like you can press the cream I really love that I mean my husband never wears creams and I got him to try it once so it must be a special thing these have been my loves for so long. They are related. They're brothers, you could say, but they do different jobs, if you know what I mean. The Hula and the Sugar Bomb from Benefit. The Hula is the, mmm, as far as bronzers go. It's, the color is amazing. The consistency is great. The brush that it comes with really goes into your cheekbone on the face. So easy to use. You look sun-kissed. This one's a sugar bomb and it's like um, an amalgamation of four different colors, like a plummy brown almost, a pinky, a peachy, and a rose. So you mix them together, swirl them together, and on the top of your cheek, a little bit of a glisten is just so pretty. But these packaging is pretty, and you can just fit them in your bag and they don't get destroyed or cracked. So I really like these. My latest discovery has been this amazing lip liner. It's Too Faced Perfect Nude. A friend of mine took me to Sephora and says, you have to get this. So I didn't naturally, but then when she left, I went back and got it anyway. It's just the perfect nude. And it's one of those that you can scroll, wine, whatever the word is, and it's a very smooth it's not a pencil it's, this is like a crayon it's exactly like a crayon it's really buttery and smooth and it just gives you a perfect nude lip which you then go over with this this is called madeira by bite it's the most amazing color i'm wearing it right now so it's just a really buttery pillowy glossy without being too sticky well it's not sticky at all nude color and i really really love it it's so easy and it's also like this amazing little crayon that just winds it's very easy to use i picked this one up in london it's by urban decay illuminated in aura and this is amazing if you're going out at night let me tell you this is just you will look like a disco ball but in a really sexy way yeah disco ball sexy 
You get the little brush at the bottom here. You get this, you put it all over your chest, decolletage, you know, highlight. I just, I'm just this all over when I go out this thing. Very, very good. Wait, hold up. I forgot one of my most favorites ever in life. It's the Soft and Gentle by MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Beautiful metallic goodness. I mean, this product looks like the surface of the moon or something, and it's just, it gives me life. I'm in love with this. It's really high frost and high sheen. I, I saw it once on somebody and they really looked like this amazing cyborg or something where the high cheekbones looked so high and perfect and beautiful. And I think that this color is it. It just is it. I love this thing. Soft and Gentle MAC. Thank you for watching. I really love your company and your feedback and I really appreciate you letting me share my favorite products with you. So please subscribe if you want to and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. And now you come.